1,200 horsepower, under 2,000 pounds, 15,000 revolutions per minute. These aren't just numbers, they're the reality of the Red Bull RB17 hypercar. This beast is about to change everything we thought we knew about high-performance vehicles. Ready to have your mind blown? Red Bull's latest creation isn't just another fast car, it's a track-only monster that's set to redefine what's possible in the hypercar world. With a price tag of $6 million, you might wonder what makes it so special. Well, how about a hybrid powertrain that combines a screaming V10 engine with an electric motor? Or a carbon fiber body that weighs less than your average compact car? But the RB17 isn't just about raw power and lightweight design. It's packed with F1-inspired tech that'll make your head spin. Active aerodynamics, a sophisticated suspension system, and a top speed of over 217 miles per hour? Yeah, this thing's not messing around. Stay tuned as we break down why the RB17 is about to shake up the hypercar game for good. Now that we've got you hyped about the RB17's F1-inspired tech, let's talk about what really makes this beast roar. You might think you've seen powerful engines before, but trust me, you've never seen anything like what's hiding under the hood of this Red Bull monster. At the heart of the RB17 lies a mid-mounted 4.5-liter V10 engine that's about to rewrite the rules of what's possible in a hypercar. This isn't just any old V10, though. It's a naturally aspirated beast developed by Cosworth, and it's packing a punch that'll knock your socks off. But here's where things get really crazy. This engine doesn't just produce power, it screams. We're talking about a red line that hits a mind-blowing 15,000 revolutions per minute. You read that right, 15,000. That's Formula One territory, folks, and it's not just about the numbers. Adrian Newey, the genius behind this machine, said it himself. The high-revving V10 was the best-sounding engine. So not only does this thing perform like nothing else on the road, but it also sounds like a track daydream come true. Now, you might be thinking, okay, a high-revving V10 is cool, but what about the actual power? Well, hold on to your hats, because this is where the RB17 really starts to show off. That V10 alone pumps out a jaw-dropping 1,000 horsepower. But wait, there's more. Red Bull wasn't content with just 1,000 horses they decided to throw in a hybrid system for good measure. This electric motor adds another 200 horsepower to the mix, bringing the total output to a staggering 1,200 horsepower. But this isn't just about raw power. This hybrid setup acts as a starter motor, provides torque and fill, and even serves as the reverse gear. Adrian Newey pointed out that this integration more than justifies itself in terms of the weight and the complication due to all the functions it performs. Now, let's put this powertrain into perspective. Remember the Aston Martin Valkyrie? Another Adrian Newey creation, it uses a larger 6.5 liter V12 that also makes about 1,000 horsepower. But here's the kicker. The RB17's powertrain is lighter. We're talking about a car that weighs less than 900 kilograms, that's under 1,984 pounds, with a power-to-weight ratio of 1.3 horsepower per kilogram. But the real magic of the RB17's heart isn't just in the numbers, it's in how all these elements come together. The V10 engine isn't just bolted in, it's a semi-stressed member of the chassis, contributing to the car's structural rigidity and performance. And let's not forget the six-speed sequential gearbox made of carbon fiber with the e-motor handling first gear and reverse duties. Now that we've seen what's under the hood, let's talk about what's holding it all together. You might think a car this powerful needs to be built like a tank, but Red Bull's got other ideas. The RB17 is redefining what it means to be lightweight, and it's doing it in a way that'll make your jaw drop. Remember when we said this beast weighs under 2,000 pounds? That's not just impressive, it's downright revolutionary. We're talking about a car that's lighter than some motorcycles, yet packs more power than a small army. How did they pull it off? Two words, carbon fiber. The RB17 isn't just using carbon fiber as a fancy trim. This hypercar is practically made of the stuff. We're talking about a full carbon fiber monocoque chassis. That's the same technology you'll find in Formula One cars, and it's what allows the RB17 to be incredibly light while still being strong enough to handle all that power. But Red Bull didn't stop there. They went and did something that's never been done before in a production car. 
The RB17 features a carbon fiber gearbox. Yeah, you heard that right. Even the part that transfers all that insane power to the wheels is made of this wonder material. Now, you might be wondering why all this focus on weight matters. Well, Adrian Newey, the mastermind behind the RB17, put it best when he said, I think the way in terms of the light of the car is the more driving enjoyment it tends to give. In other words, less weight means more fun behind the wheel. And it's not just straight line speed where this lightweight design shines. The RB17's featherweight construction, combined with its advanced aerodynamics, allows it to generate up to 3,747 pounds of downforce at 150 miles per hour. That's Formula One levels of grip. It's what allows this hypercar to achieve lap times that'll make your head spin. Now that we've seen how light and powerful the RB17 is, let's talk about what really matters. Speed. You might think you know fast, but the RB17 is about to redefine what that word means. Let's start with the basics. This beast can hit over 217 miles per hour. That's faster than most commercial airplanes at takeoff. But here's the thing. Top speed isn't even what the RB17 is really about. This car is designed to dominate on the track, and that's where things get really interesting. Red Bull says the RB17 can lap circuits as fast as current F1 cars. Let that sink in for a second. We're talking about a car that you could theoretically buy if you've got a spare $6 million lying around that can keep up with the most advanced racing machines on the planet. How is that even possible? The secret lies in the RB17's crazy aerodynamics. This thing doesn't just cut through the air, it bends it to its will. We're talking about active aero features that would make an F1 engineer jealous. Adjustable front and rear wings, an active rear diffuser, this car is basically a shapeshifter on wheels. But the real magic happens when you put all these elements together. The lightweight design we talked about earlier, it means the car can change direction faster than you can blink. The insane power from that V10 engine, it lets you rocket out of corners like you've been shot from a cannon. And the aerodynamics, they keep you glued to the track no matter how fast you're going. It's this combination that allows the RB17 to achieve those F1 equivalent lap times. Every element of the car is working in perfect harmony, pushing the limits of what's physically possible on a racetrack. And let's not forget about the tires. Red Bull worked with Michelin to develop three specific compounds for the RB17. Two types of slicks for dry conditions and a treaded tire for when things get wet. These aren't just any old tires. They're specifically designed to handle the insane forces this car can generate. So we've seen how the RB17 is rewriting the rules of speed and performance. But what's the point of all this mind-bending tech if you can't get your hands on one? Well, get ready for some bad news and some good news. Let's start with the bad news. Red Bull is only making 50 of these beasts. That's right, just 50. But here's where things get interesting. Each one of these 50 cars isn't just a copy-paste job. Nope, Red Bull's taking things to a whole new level. Ever wanted a hypercar that's tailor-made just for you? Well, that's exactly what Red Bull's offering with the RB17. We're talking about a level of customization that'll make your head spin. Want a specific paint color? You got it. Fancy some unique interior materials? No problem. Adrian Newey, the mastermind behind this crazy creation, has a vision for the RB17 that goes beyond just numbers and specs. He sees it as a complete package, a perfect blend of power, speed, and beauty. But Nui's vision doesn't stop there. He wanted to create something that could be shared. That's why the RB17 is designed as a two-seater. As Nui puts it, it is very adaptable in its abilities, and we made sure to design it as a two-seater so that the thrill of driving at F1 speeds can be enjoyed with a friend or partner. Think about that for a second. You're not just buying a car, you're buying the chance to experience F1 level performance with someone else. And let's not forget where all this comes from. The RB17 isn't just another hypercar project. It's the result of 20 years of Formula One innovation. Red Bull Advanced Technologies, the same folks who've been dominating F1 for years, are behind this beast. They're taking everything they've learned on the track and cramming it into a road legal package. So, we've seen how the RB17 is shaking up the hypercar world, but what does this mean for the future? 
This beast isn't just pushing boundaries, it's completely rewriting the rulebook. Think about it. A car that weighs less than 2,000 pounds, packs 1,200 horsepower, and can keep up with F1 cars on the track? That's not just impressive, it's game-changing. And you can bet other manufacturers are taking notice. The RB17's blend of F1 tech, insane power-to-weight ratio, and active aero could very well set the standard for the next generation of hypercars. That's it for today. Don't forget to give the video a like and subscribe to this channel for more automotive videos.